Hi, we have an extra video this week because today is Maundy Thursday, and that's the day that Jesus washed his disciples' feet and we had the Last Supper. So we're gonna review our prayer bead keychain that we've made today, and we're gonna review what each bead represents. So let's say it together, okay? Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And the next part is, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. God doesn't tempt us to do bad things, but sometimes we are tempted. So we ask for God's help to stand strong in his will. Jesus says, when we talk to God about the family, ask God for daily needs, forgiveness, and protection. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. We need to rely on God for protection from evil and to keep us from doing things in life that are wrong. When we pray saying, lead us not into temptation, we are saying, God, you have the power to take away and help us avoid the bad moments when we stray. We need to always remember that God is faithful and God will always protect us. This is not just a prayer, God, keep us from being naughty boys and girls. This part of the prayer is to recognize that we will be tempted in our lives. Temptations in life are normal and they'll happen. Those temptation moments are not sinful by themselves, but they can create actions that can separate us from God and our church families. When we pray to God that we be delivered from temptation, what we're really praying is, God, when I'm attracted to things that you don't want for me or for my life, tempted not to honor you or tempted to treat someone badly, help me to keep me from doing those things. I wonder where you feel the need for protection. Where do you need God's help to not only provide forgiveness, but also to protect you? Let's read the scripture for today. It comes from the book of John, chapter 13, verses one through 17. It was just before the Passover feast. Jesus knew that the time had come for him to leave this world and go to the Father. Having loved his own who were in the world, he now showed them the full extent of his love. The evening meal was being served and the devil had already prompted Judas Iscariot, son of Simon, to betray Jesus. Jesus knew that the Father had put all things under his power and that he had come from God and was returning to God. So he got up from the meal, took off his outer clothing and wrapped a towel around his waist. After that, he poured water into a basin and began to wash his disciples' feet, drying them with a the towel that was wrapped around him. He came to Simon Peter, who said to him, Lord, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus replied, you do not realize now what I am doing, but later you'll understand. No, said Peter, you shall never wash my feet. Jesus answered, unless I wash you, you have no part with me. Then Lord, Simon Peter replied, not just my feet, but my hands and my head as well. Jesus answered, a person has had a bath a person who has had a bath needs only to wash his feet. His whole body is clean. And you are clean, though not every one of you, for he knew who was going to betray him. And that was why he said not everyone was clean. When he had finished washing their feet, he put on his clothes and returned to his place. Do you understand what I've done for you? He asked them. You call me teacher and Lord and rightly so, for that is what I am. Now that I, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you also should wash one another's feet. I have set you an example that you should do as I have done for you. I tell you the truth, no servant is greater than his master, nor is a messenger greater than the one who sent him. Now that you know these things, you will be blessed if you do them. In today's scripture passage, Jesus is in the upper room, ex observing what we call the Last Supper or the Lord's Supper with those closest to him. He speaks of betrayal, sin, love, and forgiveness. Jesus wants us to know that those who are totally dependent on the Holy Spirit in life should pray daily for protection. 
God may allow troubles to come our way, but God always promises to protect us and help us to be faithful to God. All we must do, as this prayer shows, is to ask God for help. As I add a white bead today, right there at the top, always remember that when we are faced with the temptation of evil, never forget that it is God to the rescue. Just like we saw with the parable of the father and two sons, God desires to forgive us and welcome us home. The white bead we have added represents the purity of Jesus who lived without sin. Let us pray. Come to our rescue, O God. We know that troubles and temptations will come to us from time to time. Remind us through the words of this prayer that your protection is always there. All we need to do is ask for your help. Now we are asking, O oh God, help us each day to become more faithful to you. Amen. I hope you enjoyed this video and come back tomorrow for our special Good Friday video. See you then. Bye.